So let's talk about your progress. How are you going to measure your progress? Because you need to understand if you are improving or you're not. So let's talk about the metrics that are really important. Metrics are a way to measure performance and to monitor progress towards achieving your business goals. So start by listing numbers that describe your business. That is what I want you to do at this point. Which are the sort of numbers that describe your business? Here's what I mean. Example could be how many units can you sell in a week? How many subscribers do you need? And all that stuff. So at this point, you really need to be careful because I don't want you to create some vague metrics like I want to have many clients. Uh, yeah, that is that is stupid. Okay, because it's so vague. What do you mean by many? Okay, or I want to be very profitable. I want to make a lot of money. Nope, we need you to be very specific. Remember, objectives, smart, okay? It has to be specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time-bound. So these are things that you need to figure out as far as the metrics are concerned. So some of the key things that you can measure at this point will include things like how many clients do you need? How many units are you going to sell? In case of a blog, how many views are you aiming at each time you write a blog post? So these are things that you need to keep track of. I mean, look, even if it's something as simple as YouTube and as complicated as YouTube, it depends. If it is your channel, you still need to worry about, okay, there is the watch time, there is the views, there is the subscribers. Which of these numbers are important? The watch time is obviously going to be more important, okay? How many people are actually watching your videos and finishing them? And what's the retention rate? Why are they not watching your videos? Um, you want to improve that. You want to increase your views. How many views do you aim at per, per given video, per month? All that stuff. So in case of goods, again, the units you sell are important because that will be part of the revenue that will go into your sales. The bigger the sales, uh, the easier it is for you to make profit because if you have a huge volume of sales, okay, it means you can control the cost and then you're going to have a lot of, a lot of profit. So the metrics. You need to start measuring your performance. So again, assignment, final assignment in this case. Start by listing numbers that describe your business. So which numbers describe your business? Which numbers matter to you? So start writing them down, okay? Have them. So those are nine things that you really need to do. Those are nine assignments. So once you have all that stuff, then you have a picture of what your business is going to look like. So remember, having an idea is just one thing. Turning it into a profitable business that is another thing, and that is what I want you to now do. So right now you're in a position to do that. You have an idea, you can look at your idea in terms of problem, it's solving, or you're going to solve that problem, what makes it unique, why are your customers, how much will it cost you to do that, how do you get these customers, the channels, okay? Uh, how do you make revenue, and what are you going to measure, okay? And if you are success in doing that, then it means you know if your idea is going to work or not. If the answer to all those things was just I, I, I can't do it, then that kind of tells you something about your idea. And at the end of the day, it all just comes down to execution. You really need to execute. So if you want to turn your idea into a profitable business, then do that, okay? Do all the stuff that you've mentioned. So now you have your plan, go out, execute, and then start making money. If there is any question, obviously, do let me know, okay? Just comment or, or inbox or whatever it is, and we'll talk about it, okay? So... Nice to, you know, to be talking to you and I'll see you in the next video.